right now when we change the date maybe i'll just go back and you listen it once again you will get the idea system is only able to deliver 45 let's try to understand why it is 45 so it is 20 plus 25 which is equal to 45 and this 20 system is not able to deliver because the sequence that we are using is as in sequence constraint okay which means it will not go and check the further one it will only check whatever is available till today sorry my mistake i think the problem is with the delivery date so that was my mistake let's go back click on continue if you double click on this and go to schedule lines change the date here okay now you can see it is able to deliver how much 65 which is 20 plus 25 plus 20 65 because earlier what i have done is i told the system this one so it was only checking one month back uh, forward it was not able to go at this level but if i change the delivery date it is taking one month backward and one month forward so it is total 65 quantity which can be delivered to this particular customer okay and now let me try to save this order meaning five will not be in consider five is not considered right so because it we are checking only one month backward and one month forward one month backward one month forward right okay so save this order what you can do is you can come here and the last app last application which is available here called as product allocation overview this will also tell you this is the a kpi this analytics is a, this is an analytical application which will tell you how better you are utilizing your product allocation on product allocation okay so let me show you one example here let me filter it so i want to do it only for product allocation which is aatp underscore sorry yeah i think underscore pal i only want to see the data related to this particular product allocation object okay so it is getting refreshed what it will show you here is it will give you some kpis these are these are called as key performance indicators okay this will give you the complete kpi about this allocation object okay so it will clearly tell you how much is already used how much is already consumed and how much is still remaining i think this uh, app is not working properly in this system but i can show you in one another way so if you go to this manage product allocation planning data okay here also what you can do is you just open the product allocation object this one and here itself you can see the consumption show the consumption uh, i want to see the consumption of this line so total consumption it will give you the graphical report you can see this so march consumption is already completed so there was 20 units which we allocated in the month of march you can see this this color means consumed quantity okay so out of the planned units everything has been consumed in april also everything is consumed in may also everything is consumed but in june the allocated quantity is i think 50 units and everything is still available okay so i cannot create the sales order for this customer in the month of march april or may because i already utilized my product allocation but in the month of june again i can create a sales order and i can still get 50 quantity based on this product location okay so just a summary of what we discussed what is advanced atp advanced atp is nothing but the new concept which is introduced in sap s4 ana in sap ecc the basic product availability check was available if you want to do this kind of product allocation features it was only available in global atp gatp which was part of apu the problem was if you want to perform these things in sap ecc system then there was lot of uh, 
configurations required in ECC, a lot of configurations were required in APO, and there was a lot of data movement which was required between ECC and APO. Now with S4HANA, SAP embedded this APO functionality related to product allocation. Okay, and in this product allocation, what will happen now is there is not much of configuration. Configuration is already uh, very, very few configurations are available. Most of the settings can be directly done by the end user using this newly introduced Fiori apps. Okay, let me show you. So these are the new collections of app where the customer or where the end user can create their product allocation objects. They can decide the characteristics. They can enter the values. Okay, and they can also see the reports later on. Okay, only basic configurations which are required to set up this advanced ATP is I already shown you how to activate ATP. Okay, at the client level. And second, I already shown you how to activate the ATP at the product availability check level. There are some other configurations which are required. So let me show you. If you click on the sales order and if you just go to the procurement tab, you need to make sure that this schedule line category and requirement type, this both are allowing the availability check and advanced ATP features. Okay, so let me show you what exactly I mean by uh, schedule line category and requirement types. So for this, again, I will go to the configuration. IMG. Uh, this would be available in sales and distribution. Within sales and distribution, again, we'll go to basic functions, availability check, transfer of requirements. Okay, and this is where you will find requirement class. Okay, which was 41 in our case, right? So requirement class was 041. This one, you can see here product allocation is active. This must be active if you want to use product allocation in your system. This is number one. Number two, schedule line category. Okay, so for CP, again, you can see there is product allocation functionality. So for CP also, this product allocation box should be ticked. Okay, that's it. So these are some of the things that you need to do in order to set up the product allocation. All the other things which are configurations in SAP ECC and APO are replaced with SAP Fiori apps, which can be done directly by the end user. Thank you. And we will see back order processing. So the, we just seen one part of advanced ATP, which is product allocation. Similarly, there is another functionality within a global ATP, which was there in APO called as advanced back order processing, which is also part of SAP S4 HANA advanced ATP now. So in our next session, we will understand back order processing. Thank you. Okay, so back order processing, as I told you, I explained you how exactly the back order processing works. But uh, what I'll do is I'll share that video also with you so that you can go on your own. You already understood how it works. But definitely, if you have any questions, you can ask on that. Okay, so it was clear now what is advanced ATP. This is definitely the topic that will that will differentiate you with others because I am 100% sure even if you are working with someone who has 10, 15, 20 years of experience in SAP SD, not even 1% of the SD consultants knows that this concept is available in S4HANA. Okay, so this will definitely give you the age even in the interviews and Definitely, you can utilize this new topics, MRP Live, this advanced ATP. These are something which even 1% of the consultants who are already working in the industry for many years, they have still not upgraded themselves to these new concepts. Okay, any questions? Okay. And the PPT, please share. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Earlier classes yeah. as well. That will be helpful because every time we can't go into the video and pull and see, these uh, PPTs will really help actually. Uh, so PPT, I think uh, I just shared yesterday and today, right? Otherwise, previously it was just the enterprise structure. I think that was shared with you, right? Uh, no, we, nothing is shared, I think. Then. 
None of the PPT. Uh, yes, sir. I so think, much. sir, uh, enterprise structure PPT we have, and then no other than. No, otherwise I have never used PPT. I, I think uh, it's directly to the system itself. But like, anything I'll share with you. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, no, the session sure is during the weekend, right? We don't have anything in the midweek. No, no, we directly have on. We have a regular Hello. class, right? Uh, Tushar, can you just mute yourself? Yeah, okay. Yeah, sorry, Nagesh, you are asking something? Do you have any class in the midweek? Uh, that's okay. No, 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 directly on Saturday. Thank you. Okay. Tushar, you were asking something? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, actually, I have a doubt. Means, uh, when I am going to create a BP, so I am uh, unable to see the standard uh, uh, BP role. And even in uh, uh, material master also, sir. What what are In BP. Uh, BP. Yes, sir. You are not able to. Yeah? This one. Uh, uh, yes, sir. No, uh, sir. This not. It's uh, a BP. BP role. So you are not able to see this uh, codings, right? Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. So I don't know which one is the standard. Right. Right. Go to this button. Options. Okay. In this options, go to interactive design, visualization one, and make sure that these two boxes are ticked. Okay. Then only you'll be able to see the codes. Otherwise, you'll be only able to see the description. And the same in the material master. Master also, I can see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is every everywhere in SAP. Whenever you are doing F4, or sorry, whenever you are getting this kind of button and you are clicking on this, if you want to see the codes, then you should go with this configuration, this activation. Okay, click on those two indicators. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So SD can. Do you? Uh, I will just uh, for MM guys. Uh, I think I think Raj and Soro has joined. So I will just disconnect this call and connect once again. Okay, so just to keep the recording separately. Okay, Akshay, any questions? Uh, no, no. Okay, chalo then. We'll meet next Saturday. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.